Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. We did actually get a Power BI announcement, and I've got some community content for you that will just keep this 2021 train rolling. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Enough of all this talking. Let's get into the roundup. Mara over at datapairs.com has got a blog post looking at how do you solve the problem of once my data flow is refreshed, how do I kick off an actual Power BI data set that's referencing that data flow? And the answer is Power Automate. And she walks through how to actually utilize Power Automate to accomplish this task. Now, this is utilizing the data flow connector as well as the Power BI data set connectors to enable those refreshes, as well as to trigger when one of them is complete. So we're using a data flow. In her case, she's going off of a SharePoint list. Once that's done, it will signal the flow to then kick off the Power BI data set refresh, which is awesome. This has been a longstanding problem of, you know, how do we tie these things together? You could do it with some scheduled refresh and try and get the timing right, but it was never quite complete. Power Automate actually ties all of this together and allows you to accomplish that task. So very cool. If you're looking for more details on this or how to actually do it, check out the blog post links in the description below. One call out also is just be aware that I'm not sure on the Power Automate side if there's additional licensing that may be required on that front. So just be aware of that and do your homework. Marco Russo's got a video, it's a longer form video looking at composite models. They're calling this the Unplugged series, which reminds me of Patrick's and my longer form videos called Unplugged as well, but this is much better. So he's actually taking a full hour and just walking through the new direct query over Power BI data sets, looking at how to actually think about bringing them together. This is the big thing. Everyone's asking for best practices, you know, what's performance gonna look like? And some of this is not yet known because people are still playing with it and working with real live data. And so this video will help you think about what's involved with bringing these things together. Some just be aware of relationships, be aware of what the data looks like on either side. And Marco does a great job going through this. I, I'll be fully honest, I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I've gotten like halfway through, but it is amazing uh, just, the, just to hear him think about what's actually happening as we connect these items. So definitely worth a watch, check it out. Links down below. Also, you'll see a link up above as well. Parker Stevens has got a video looking at currency conversion and how to refresh it and how to actually utilize dynamic formatting as well. So there's a bunch of information about currency conversion, but what Parker's doing is not only taking a source and refreshing from that, but also applying dynamic formatting by using calculation groups. And you can do some amazing things with calculation groups. It does allow for those custom format strings and he walks through tabular editor and how to actually set this up. So it's an interesting look at how to use calculation groups and tabular editor and currency conversion is definitely something that's definitely of interest to those in the finance sector trying to play with those numbers. So if you're interested in this, if it's, this is a new concept for you, check out the video, Parker's got you covered. If you're an admin or interested in the architecture of Power BI, Melissa Coates did a video with Mike Carlo over at Power BI Tips where they walk through Melissa Coates' new updated end-to-end -end diagram of Power BI. So what's involved? When we say Power BI, what does that mean? And there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Melissa walks through what that is and also contrasts it from when she first created that back in 2015 to what it is today in 2021. And it has definitely come a long way. So if you're interested in those items and just want to hear it, Melissa is definitely an expert in this topic. So check out this video if that interests you and you just want to learn more about the insides of Power BI, she's got you covered in the video. Links down below. I mentioned that there was an announcement for Power BI. The XMLA endpoint is now generally available, which is great. It also came with some new items. So the ability to script role creation is amazing and something I know some enterprise customers have been waiting for. This plays obviously to Power BI Premium as well as Premium per user, but the fact that it's generally available now, there may have been some customers that have been holding back just because it had that preview label on it. Now it's generally available. I think a lot of folks can now take full advantage of the XMLA endpoint, doing scripting, you know, things like ALM Toolkit for 
enterprise deployment, all sorts of tools are now enabled by this feature. And even if you're using other BI products, they can be now powered by Power BI, which is always kind of funny and interesting to me. The XML AM point just allows you to take it to the next level. And honestly, you know, thinking about like analysis services or that enterprise data model hosted now in Power BI, and you've got that connection string directly to the model, which is amazing. I'd love to know your thoughts on the XMLA endpoint, or if you were on the fence because it was preview and now it's GA, you're good to go. Let me know in the comments below. All right, I want to hand it over to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.